Hello again ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. After the intro, we'll show you everything you need to know about the new Opera browser. Let's start with some new features. The first thing you'll notice when you open up the new Opera browser is the speed dial feature. This is kind of like a bookmarks page. You can add frequently visited sites, visit the Opera mobile store, and even supports folders. Right next to that is the discover feature. It has the bones of being a really great feature. It's essentially a news feed that lets you check out some big news from various topics. You can change the topics it displays to show off the stuff that you're interested in. Unfortunately, you can't narrow it down any further than that, so you may be stuck with generic news. Perhaps our favorite new feature is the off-road feature. When activated, this nifty feature loads only the essential content of a website. This allows for a much faster browsing experience, and if you're in an area with spotty internet connection, it can help load those websites the 2G coverage probably wouldn't normally load. Along with these new features, Opera has a full-featured web browsing experience. It definitely loads websites faster than the old Opera did, and with things like a dedicated download manager and a new, more ergonomic design, it makes the Opera experience a lot better than it used to be. The new design deserves some mention here. It goes with the standard top bar with the address bar, the tabs button, and the menu button all at the top. In the settings menu, you can actually change this to move all this stuff to the bottom of the screen if you prefer bottom bars. To the left of the address bar is a plus button where you can save a page for offline viewing or add it to your speed dial, which is pretty nifty. You can also share web pages through the menu button if you enjoy doing that. As mentioned, there are no more bookmarks as this functionality has been replaced by speed dial. Overall, though, the design is definitely cleaner and more friendly to the eye than the old Opera was. It borrows a few design elements from Chrome, but but that's not necessarily a bad thing. While we would have liked to have seen something a little more dynamic, we cannot complain that the simplicity makes Opera that much easier to use. There is a lot to like about Opera. The speed dial feature is actually really awesome once you get used to it and once you get it set up for you. Granted, many will still swear by the bookmark system, but usually for bookmarks you have to open a menu and scroll through them. Opera puts all of that right in the front for easy access. Off-road mode is definitely one of the better features for any web browser. It strips down the website to its bare essentials and loads only that. This can be useful if your internet connection is spotty and you still want snappy web browsing. It can also be used by those who are on limited data plans to help save data by not loading unnecessary elements. We also enjoy the ease of use. You can get anywhere in Opera from anywhere in Opera relatively quickly. You are never more than two clicks away from any feature in Opera. This made it feel feather light as getting to things like speed dial or browser history is excruciatingly simple, which we found to be rather wonderful. Opera, like all software, isn't flawless. There were a couple of things we actually didn't like. First and foremost, on some larger websites with a lot of content, scrolling can get a little jumpy until Opera loads the full site. So, on a few occasions, you may be stuck waiting for the site to load all the way before smooth scrolling can happen. The only other real downside to Opera is its Discover tab. It has so much promise, and if it were more customizable, it'd be a feature we could rave about. Unfortunately, in an app whose strongest feature is simplicity, Discover suffers from being too simple. Aside from these minor issues, we found that Opera was an enjoyable browsing experience. It's definitely better than it used to be, which is great news for Opera fans. It still ranks among the best web browsers out there, so if you're starting to get tired of the one you're using, Using, it's worth giving Opera a shot. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media links in the video description.